our last demonstration will be about inserting and deleting rows and columns we are going to see how we can insert a new row and a new column into our excel sheet for that we need excel application scope and we need also insert a delete column in case we want to insert or delete column and in case we want to insert and delete rows we need this kind of this kind of activities so in insert and delete column what we need to do is we need to specify the number of columns which we want to insert and also the position where we want to insert it on that excel sheet plus also in the change mode and in the input and in the change mode we need to provide uh, the data about whether we want to add or we want to remove so there are two choices on the setting we need to actually uh, specify because for adding and removing it is the same activity so we need to select whether we want to add or we want to remove along with a sheet name also for insert or delete row the same settings need to be uh, filled which is the number of rows which you need to add and where you need to add it and whether you want to add or you want to remove and plus also the sheet name so let us go now practically and see how we can apply it so we are going to create a new sequence we'll call it demo 10 we'll copy excel application scope we'll delete auto fill range and now let us open excel sheet and let us try to add some columns or rows let us assume that i want to add a new column between name and position and maybe a new row between the header and the second row let us see how we can do that so we are going to actually see uh, we will actually use insert insert and delete columns and as we said we need to specify the number of columns for example is one the position let us assume that the position is three the third column and i'm going to add similarly also for the number of rows i'm going to add one row the position is two and i'm going to add i'm not going to delete or let us assume that we are going to delete this time so i'm going to delete the second row let us close excel sheet and specify and run the file so i'm adding a column and i am deleting row let us see the file so as you can see the column which i have uh, highlighted was the third column so I said that I want to add one column on the third position and this is the column before I was having another uh, row which is uh, Muhammad and that the ID for Muhammad was one so now that row is being deleted uh, because I have highlighted that I want to delete the second row so the second row is being deleted successfully so we were able to use insert delete columns and insert delete rows to delete and to add uh, more columns and rows.